it. And um, when my mother would put me in that room multiple times, she had zip tied my hands and feet together and bolt locked the door, turned the lights off and had cameras there just watching me. In that room that my mother had built, um, oftentimes she had zip tied my hands and feet together and kept. So because these kids are being seen on a reality TV show and have cameras around them all the time, this sick, you know what? Use cameras as an abusive tool for the kids. Well, we post it every Friday. Every See Friday. them corner modes, then you know why. I'm a Jada Gemini to the day I die. And I'm gonna talk my shit, but I don't play both sides. So nah. Plus eight, for anybody that don't know, okay. is like the original family vlog channel, but it's on TV. It was on TLC, if oh, I believe. Strike one. Check me in the comments. Um, And it was about a couple who had hella kids. Like, I think it's like six of them, eight of them. Oh, yeah, John, can you post it? Doesn't TLC stand for the learning channel? Right. I don't know what we're learning the fuck about, we learning? like, how, how to not have eight kids. I don't know. Um, you know how, to, how to get love but with I a know nigga that was there locked were up. Sex tuplets and then twins, like two older girls and then six kids that all came out at once. And they had a TV show. And all I remember about it growing up was seeing the parents constantly arguing. The mom had the Karen Bob. She is the meme. If you've ever seen the Karen meme, the original with the Bob, that's Kate. That's her. You know what I know? Like, that's literally her. Oh, okay. Yeah, like that is her. With the glasses, yeah, that's her. I'm calling your manager. Yes. I got you. So, um,. <laughs> Kate is literally the embodiment of a Karen because apparently she is just evil spirited and um, Brad, more her kids are grown now and I foresee this happening to more family channels of all types. Big kids gonna come out and say the real tea. Spill the beans. And um, there's her son. One of her sons has come out and basically said that he was zip tied huh? from his arms and his legs and put in the basement. I guess we just learned something new today, guys, on the Learning Channel. TLC, when you were filming and little bro was in the basement, like, what was going on? They said, we're journalists. We don't get involved. No, for real. Like, what in the MTV True Life? What in the intervention? <laughs> intervention These but, are kids. <laughs> like, what? But, bro, you remember they they let, um, I smoked all your money of an active addiction. Yeah, honey boo boo. Yeah, they that, let that was happen, Was that We TV or is that TLC? What's the difference? both exploitative but um i don't know if anyone's going to jail if there's going to be a civil suit um but he's basically just telling his story this is colin uh one of the um the six not the older ones and uh he got put into one of them little ranches one of them little camps. Yeah, they just always, they Is said at right one point camp? he had a disability and lied and said he was like off. Like, bruh, I don't know if someone's, I don't know. This is horrible. But yeah, TLC, like where that. were you at when them kids was in the basement? Because what we saw on TV, she, her and her husband, they were beefing. And I remember being a kid like, oh, he deserves this because he's cheating on her. But it's like, He's trying to gain some control by going out and stepping out because your kids in the basement. You can't do shit. Your your livelihood is based off of this TV show. You got to keep up good looks. Like, at what point is the TV station held accountable? No, seriously, because he even had even the dad the was like, "What?" Giving him money, documenting it, um, and then at uh, the juxtaposition to it. You're fucking making money off of it. Off of their pain and off suffering. Off of their pain yeah. and suffering, bro. Them boys need to call Morgan and Morgan. <laughs> or somebody. <laughs> this video is not sponsored by Morgan and Morgan, but Morgan and Morgan hit me up. It's crazy, though, that um, the dad, once Colin was in his teen years, he, like, straightened up and was like, okay, I need to be there for my kids and basically stepped up. And, um, you know, anybody that wanted to be a defector from the Kate compound because i didn't expect all of this i knew she was off but i didn't know it was on this level where you're zip tying children like the children that are making you money in the basement 
horrible. Colin Gosling has made several shocking allegations against his mother, claiming she isolated him from his seven siblings, locked him in a basement, and physically oh and emotionally God, abused him in an hair. exclusive interview with the U.S. Sun. Yeah. While millions of viewers tuned in to follow the lives of John and Kate Gosling, their twins, and their sex couplets, making it one of TLC's highest rated TV shows of the 2000s, Brave Colin has now revealed that off screen there was a horrifically dark side to life in the Gosling family. It was rough. It was, it was rough. Um, I definitely went through it a lot as a kid um, from my mother's end, so it was tough. My mother Bruh. at many, many times and most of the time became physically aggressive, um, verbally, verbally very abusive with the things she would say and, and obviously that carries over to, you know, the... Looking back, he did always look sad, but she would always be like, oh no, he has mental problems. He, he got problems. There's a few of them that look sad. Old girl in the corner there looks concerned. She right. looks like she a concerned little sad. Tay. You see her in the, the mm -hmm. right hand side? She's yep. like, oh God. Who farted? Emotional side of things where, you know, a young child doesn't know any better. The one that has the most bumps and bruises is definitely Colin. He falls like 56 times an hour, but he's not tough. He gets upset. A very, very emotionally abusive relationship. And um, when my mother would put me in that room multiple times, she had zip tied my hands and feet together and bolt locked the door, turned the lights off, and had cameras there just watching me. In that room that my mother had built, um, oftentimes she had zip tied my hands and feet together and kept. So because these kids are being seen on a reality TV show and have cameras around them all the time, this sick, you know what, use cameras as an abusive tool for the kids. What the hell? Because, like, we as adults know, bitch, what you going to do with that footage? Like, what are you going to, like... But we as adults know the difference between a camera that's recording us, like... right. For the TV and right, for but security, as a kid, right? It's like your own personal little hell. Cause you, how could you distinguish it? This is messed up. Nah, it's pretty dismal. I'm not gonna lie. Is Cali like this? Is in California, right? Nice try, Diddy. Oh my God. <laughs> There's so many deadlers out there, bro. No, they seriously. just be on some. Got me locked in there, um, for most or all of the day, for multiple days. And that doesn't just make you feel helpless, but it was the fact that I had, I had nobody in my life. Now. I didn't have my siblings. I didn't have teachers at school. I didn't have anybody. I didn't have friends. You know, I wasn't allowed to visit my father. I had nobody to go to, not one person to talk to. I had no relationship with anybody. Um, I was fully isolated from everybody. I had no friends, nobody. As I'm older now, and I, I can kind of look back and see videos or pictures of myself younger, it, it definitely so is it's, it's a crazy experience because, you know, I look at my younger self and it, it upsets me. You know, I don't even like to look at pictures of myself because it just reminds me of, you know, those kinds of things. And it also makes you realize, like, you know, this is, that's not, that's not okay what happened. Um, and you realize that no kid should have to go through it. That's not okay at all. It, it got to the point where I was... A lot of his siblings do not look happy. Um, where, you know, word was getting out and child services were being called. Me being at home in the house, there was just too many ways that my mother could have been exploited. Things took another catastrophic turn for Colin when age 11, his mother had him sent to Fairmont Behavioral Health, a mental health facility in Pennsylvania, after having him diagnosed with multiple mental health and behavioral issues, including autism, ADHD, and bipolar disorder. Conditions that recent so medical- that almost Bruh. like a Gypsy Rose mama at that point, where it's just like, damn, you putting stuff on this boy that he even got? This is an abuse technique um, that people do basically to discredit the victim. So if you have all of these disorders put on them, it's easier to discredit them to the doctors, police, all of that stuff um, to make them just look fucking crazy. And then, of course, any human being is going to try to fight back when you're getting forced medication, shots, anything like that. And it's just going to add on to their case. You got this little kid diagnosed with ADHD and bipolar and autism. Reports show he does not have. Terrified young Colin was to spend the next 22 months of his life at the institution. In, in her desperate attempt to protect herself, um, she placed me in this institution with no, for, there was no notice. It just, I, it, one day it was like up and gone. You know, it just, it was a very, very like um, quick and just, you know, I, one day I was sent away from home and placed there and, and, and I was scared. Young Colin, desperate and alone, managed to send a secret letter to his dad begging him to take him out of the facility. For the first time since he penned the letter in crayon eight years ago, Colin emotionally read it aloud to the U.S. Sun. There was a lot of nothing. He I didn't know where I was. I'd always been alone. At least it was a place away from home, but it was still very scary. And for 22 months, I didn't step foot in one classroom. I didn't do one worksheet, nothing. Um, excuse me. This letter was um, dated in June of 2017. Dear Dad, I'm not trying to trick you, but I still love you. 
I told mom I want to live with you, and she said no. But right, she can't choose for me, and I'm old enough now. I'm your son, not hers. She was abusive to me after I left her house, and I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Take this to court. Um, excuse me. And I said, Dad, you're my savior. Uh, please help me. I'm counting on you to get me out of here. I remember saying that I'm not trying to trick you because I remember thinking that nobody believed me as a kid. Uh, you know, my mom always told me nobody would believe me. I was that desperate that I had to explain to him that this wasn't a trick, and I, I hadn't seen him for so long because I, I wasn't allowed to visit him. I did want to live with him. Um, looking back at it, I'm, I'm really glad I did this. It was tough. I was scared to write it because I hadn't seen my dad in years, and I, I didn't really know what he would think. Like, what, is this real? Like, you know, why is he trying to reach out to me? Like, I mean, I'm sure he knew why I'd been trying to reach out to him, but. It, you know, I was scared to write this. It was a leap of faith that I had to take, and I'm looking back, I'm really glad I did that for my younger self. Yo, those are nice. Hold on one second. Candace, what's up? I think my daughter's going pro at basketball. Yo, has she said anything since? Like, she hasn't, any, I haven't seen any statement. Like, what do you have to say about this? Society with, like, you know, kids in my age group, it was tough. Um, it was, like, towards the end of middle school, and, um, you know, I, I remember finding some academic work a little difficult and I didn't really know how to talk to my peers. Resilient Colin defied all odds, graduated from high school, and embarked on his lifelong dream to join the military. I didn't really know that it was the Marines when I was younger, but I always knew that I, I you know, I had that patriotism in me and I wanted to serve my country and, you know, I, I always knew it was there. He's like, um, I'm trying to get far and I, I remember, like, signing that contract and going off to training and, 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 and stepping foot, you know, on Paris Island. I, I just remember, like, on the yellow footprints, I remember, like, as a kid, I never really knew what that dream was, but when I got there, it, got it just it, all boy. clicked, and I was like, "Yep, this is what it, this is this is what the dream was," and um, that that brotherhood and that camaraderie and the leadership and just how you know my drill instructors and all the Marines on Paris Island carry themselves—it's it, truly amazing. It's amazing. It, it, it's breathtaking, and it, it's such an amazing organization. And uh, this country is it's lucky to have these Marines. Marines. That's Sadly, it's that short-lived when on July 21st, 2023, Mother Kate, who had no contact oh, with since on. he was hospitalized, made an extensive post on Instagram where she claims he has multiple psychiatric diagnoses, accused oh him of having gosh. a distorted perception of reality, and accused him of exhibiting unpredictable and violent behaviors. This post went insanely viral. That. How did he get into the military after being in the psych ward? She's so petty and diabolical and narcissistic. Yeah, Why would you sabotage him like that? And you know you set that up. Oh, she's horrible. Oh, wow. That's so mean. And in this post, my mother talks about how I have a, a large, large list of diagnoses. I couldn't defend these attacks. I didn't even know what was going on until my friend.